here we go. We're gonna get to see the Oilers live. And this is our view. Very loud in here. This is why I'm going to dub over some of the video here just to tone it down a little bit. You need to enjoy the appreciation though. So a lot of it I'm leaving in like the Let's Go Oilers and O oh Canada. Let's go Oilers! 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 So even though this was game three, you can tell it's very loud in there. I am toning it down a little bit in editing. Um, it, it, it's loud. It's very loud. Just enjoy. Who we're going to be sitting next to the whole game. Good evening, Oilers fans. I'm an Oilers West fan tonight. Westbrook is an Oilers fan. He's from, where, where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. I'm going to be That's insane. That's insane. While the Oilers are making a record trip, what is it, 4,000 kilometers, I think is what the travel is. I don't know what a kilometer is, but it's a couple thousand miles. Yeah, a couple thousand miles, kilometers are much longer. It, it's, uh, yeah. It took me four weeks to get here. Oh, wow. Four weeks, that's insane. If you can't tell, he's from Columbus, Ohio. People came to this game from across North America. It's absolutely insane. There was people down below us that were holding up signs also from Utah. This is actually my first playoff game. I've lived here all my life. Yeah. 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 So, this is the first playoff in Columbus. Only if we only get like one playoff a decade. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you. All right. Okay, well, that's what I took of the game because it was very loud. It was very difficult to record anything inside. So if you made it to this part in the video, thank you very much for going through all of that. It's very loud. It's very crazy. Focus is on game seven. The Oilers are set to do something that hasn't been done since 1942, and that's to come back in a deficit of three games to zero. This is an insane revelation, and honestly, the greatest player in the game right now, Connor McDavid, can lead the Edmonton Oilers and the city of Edmonton to something that hasn't been seen in a very long time. 30-year drought in Canada for the Cup. And even longer for something this level to happen. Now, 
I've had a lot of people say they're, you know, up and down, the Oilers aren't going to make it. And I always had belief in the end of the third period of this game that I went to with about two minutes left on the clock, I stood up in our section and I turned around and I screamed at the top of my lungs to everybody to start standing up because they were doing the final push. They had scored, they had turned around and scored two goals in the third period to only have a one goal deficit at this point, trying to spear something forward. And that spirit of the city became alive. I watched the entire arena stand up around the team. They ended up taking a timeout. Yes, they lost that game, but that means so much more now reflecting on it from game three. That's when things changed was that third period when everyone was able to get up, not dying, not letting this team die. And this team will not die. I believe they can bring it home. One cup, one team, one win. Oilers Nation, bring it home. Let's go Oilers. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow signing off here. And I will catch you, hopefully, on the other side.